Hello and welcome to a video from FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris the K. I'm Chris with the K. And today we are going to be continuing our series on Z script for Doom. So we're going to be writing scripts that modify Doom. This is part of a series. This is the second video, not counting the introduction video, on modifying Doom using Z scripts. If you go to the description of this video, there'll be a link to my GitLab page with all these examples. If you go into the examples down here, there's one called Zombie to Shotgun Guy. That is going to be basically what we're doing today, except for we're going to rewrite from scratch. But you can go in there and just run that script, uh, you know, use this directory, and you can see what it's like without having to do anything yourself, and then you can modify that. But let's go ahead and start working on that from scratch. So I'm in an empty directory right now. I'm going to create my zscript file. So again, this is going to be a text file called zscript, and I'm going to give it the extension of dot S, uh, .zsc. In here, you want to give it a version number, which may change in the future. Uh, basically, when you start gzdoom, Right here, you can see that this is the version I'm running. That's what I would put as your version number because it's probably the most current, at least the most current that you have. Anyway, I'll exit out of that, and we'll come back in here. And you again could put all, you can put all your code right here, but as your code gets bigger, you may want to split it up in separate files, and that's what I'm doing in this video. And I was going to say uh, new zombie dot uh, zsc. Uh, so that's just going to say load this file, and you can have multiple files in here, and I am now going to create that file. And again, I'm using Vim as my text editor. Again, use whatever text editor you want. I'm actually using NeoVim with my setup, which is actually set up to autocomplete a lot of stuff in here, but I'm still going to do a lot of copy and pasting because I figured that's how most of you guys are going to be doing this. Now, going to my GitLab page, uh, and we can go to the directory called Extras actors and down here I'm going to come down here to possessed and again this is the default settings for zombie men shotgun guys uh, chainsaw guy or chainsaw chain gun guys and the Wolfenstein actors and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take uh, the shotgun guy and I'm going to highlight the shotgun guy code and I'm going to paste it into here now again we can't just oh I just copied the line numbers as well so let's go ahead and go, sorry. Okay, so this is that code. And we can't just replace shotgun guy like this because it's gonna tell me shotgun guy already exists. So I'm just gonna call this shotgun guy two. And it's an actor. And then to put it in our game without having to create a custom level, I'm just gonna say replaces. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace our zombie man. So anywhere there was a regular zombie man, he's now gonna be our custom shotgun guy. Okay, uh, of course you can replace the shotgun guys. Now remember, we're replacing the zombie men, so wherever there's a regular shotgun guy, they're still gonna act like a shotgun guy. Let's go ahead and save this. And again, we're gonna run GZ Doom. And I talked about this in the previous video, but we're gonna say file, and the file can be a WAD file, a PK3 file, or in this case, I'm saying uh, the directory that our scripts are in, which is our current directory, so I just put a dot. So it's saying, look at our current directory, and I'm saying to run this as Doom 2, jump to the first map. Give it a moment to load, and now anywhere that there is a was a zombie guy, there now is a shotgun guy. We didn't change anything, so he's gonna act like a regular shotgun guy, but all our zombie guys are now replaced with shotgun guys. Let's go ahead and modify him a little bit more. We'll go back into our new zombie script. And you can see here health. So by default, they're at 30. We can modify that. We can give him three health, and which would be really easy to kill him. Or we can give him 300 health, which would be very hard to kill him. Uh, so let's go ahead and just give him three, which means like one shot should kill him. We have his radius and height for collision, his mass, uh, and then his speed. So we can make them faster. So if I make that 16, so now they're gonna be a whole lot faster but easier to kill. Or normally with the pistol, it takes a couple of shots. One shot, oh, that guy exploded. But you can see they're, they're moving a bit faster. <laughs> okay, now you don't have to give it positive numbers. You can come in here and instead of 16, let's put it back to eight, but instead of just eight, we'll say negative eight. Okay, so now when we run it, our zombie guy is actually going to walk backwards. He's going to try to come towards us, but he's going to move backwards. It's going to look like he's moonwalking, right? Hey, wake up. 
<laughs> and they can never get to you. They're, oh, don't run away. Come back. I want to fight. <laughs> they all went around corners because whatever code they're using to walk towards you, it's now doing the opposite and walking away. So I'm just showing you, it's very simple to modify how these guys work just by changing variables, which all the default variables are here. Now we have different sounds here. We can make them sound like different guys. We're gonna get into sounds in the future stuff. And I, I have the sound muted here right now so it's not overpowering while I'm trying to talk. Uh, but we have different sounds. Again, this is the shotgun sound uh, for a shotgun guy, for when he sees you, for when he attacks you, for when he's in pain, for when he dies, when he's active. And then uh, the obituary, I believe, is when you're killed and it says, player was killed by a shotgun guy. This is, again, if you see dollar sign, that means it's a variable that already exists somewhere. We can go in there and type in whatever code we want uh, or whatever string we want. But let's go ahead and change something else right here. Here it says drop item. It's, he's got, he, they're gonna drop shotguns, right? Well, let's change this to say lost soul. So now, whenever you kill a shotgun guy or one of our custom zombie guys, instead of dropping a shotgun, a lost soul appears. Now, they can drop multiple items. Now, be aware that if you drop a lot of items at once, depending on what type of items they are, they might get stuck together. Um, oh, no, I, I didn't want to start the game again. I want to go into my script. Give it a second here. Okay. Now, instead, I can say, now, instead of dropping one lost soul, they'll drop three lost souls every time one dies. There we go. And now they don't, Lost Souls I don't get, I don't think get stuck together. Uh, but if you were to do that with shotgun guys, let's say you want the shotgun guy to uh, spawn new shotgun guys. If you do a few of them, they, they will get stuck together. I did try doing that. But you can also say, hey, spawn a Lost Soul uh, and then also spawn a uh, clip and also spawn um, a health bonus. So now, when they die, they're going to drop all three of those things. They're going to drop the the health bonus, <clears throat> excuse me, a lost soul, and a clip. Really, it's a magazine. But there we go. And of course, if you were to have them spawn something. Now, I could have them spawn a shotgun guy, which will act like a regular shotgun guy and drop a shotgun when he dies. But I could also have them, we call the shotgun guy too. So if we put them as a shotgun guy too, they're going to continuously just spawn because every time you kill one, it's going to create another one. Uh, <laughs> so we could also do uh, a cyber demon <laughs> just for fun because why wouldn't you do things for fun when you're messing with scripts like this? Yeah, that's not good. You're not going to want to kill any of these guys. Oh, so many cyber demons. We'll get rid of that. Now, going back down here again, there's different states. We talked about this in previous videos. Uh, we have the states when they're spawned, they're going to um, use, this is the sprite they're using. So SPOS is the shotgun guy sprite and they're gonna loop back and forth A, B, A, B, A, B uh, at, with a delay of 10. Once they've seen you, they're going to start doing their walk and they're going to chase you. So this over here, this is the sprite, this is the frame, this is the delay, and then there might be a function here like this. He's looking for you, right? Uh, then here we have them walking around, a delay between each frame, and then they're running the function chase. So basically, every once in a while, he's going to turn and try to follow you. Then we have his attack. Again, we're using the shotgun guy sprite frame e delay of 10 then we're doing the function of facing a target so that means to make sure he's looking at you then again the sprite the frame delay bright means when they're in a dark room there's the muzzle flash this makes the sprite light up so basically it's the muzzle flash there and then they're going to run their function for attack then there's going to be another frame of e with a delay and then it's going to go back to the state of c uh, and then they have their pain, you know, here they're playing a frame, holding it, same frame again, holding it. I don't know why they chose to do that 
twice instead of just putting a delay of six there. I don't know if that would make a difference. That's how I would have done it. Uh, but then they're going to do their pain. Then we have their death here. And then the X death is when they explode, right? They're going to explode into uh, little giblets. And then rise is if you have it set to um, for them to respawn when um, uh, Archvile respawns them. It's basically going to play their death animation backwards. So up here, when they die, it's H, I, J, K, L. Here, they're going back up to K, J, well, L first, then J, K, I, and H. Again, I don't know why they would separate that onto two lines, but that's just how the default is set up. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, and then they go to their site of C. So when they respond, they're automatically you know, going back to just looking for you and chasing you rather than spawn where they're just sitting there and waiting. So they're active and ready to go. Yeah, so we've replaced our, our zombie guys with shotgun guys. And again, you can replace any item uh, as long as you know the name of it. And uh, I'll make notes on all the different names of different stuff, but you can kind of guess a lot of them. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found this useful. We're in the second tutorial. We've already made you know some custom mo monsters and how they move around. Uh, we'll, we'll modify this a little bit more in the next video. Uh, but again, check out my GitLab page. And in here, you can see all my examples that I've been working on uh, to do different things. And as always, I, I hope that you have a great day.